of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, in this month of June, dedicated to the most sacred heart of Jesus, I wish to continue to reflect on the virtues hidden in the heart of our Lord, the heart of Jesus, a mirror of all virtues, and we wish also to imitate these virtues of our Lord. Today we meditate upon the heart of Jesus as a merciful heart, and in this heart we wish to mirror our own heart and see that we are really the opposite, and uh, most of the times our heart is envious. Let's first start with this mercy of the heart of Jesus. You might already know that merciful, the word merciful comes from Latin, miseris cor dare, to give one's heart to the miserable. And Jesus has always given his heart to everyone, especially those most in need. Jesus is the Son whose Father, the Father of Heaven, is the one who lets his rain fall upon the earth, upon those who are just and those who are unjust. The temptation that we normally have is to react immediately to those people who are not merciful towards us, especially those people who live in a way contradicting the law of God, especially we think of those dishonest, publicly dishonest people. Our reaction is immediately to punish them. But if we think of the heart of Jesus ready to forgive, we have to change our way of thinking and acting. You can uh, think of Jesus forgiving those who crucified him. Jesus even approaching Judas, who was going to betray him with a kiss, a sign of affection, Jesus had words of even compassion towards that man, the son of perdition. The heart of Jesus is not considering our way of doing, is not considering a bad attitude, but he decided to give, since the very beginning of his life, to give himself to the end. And he's always ready to give himself to the end. Think of the most holy Eucharist. Did Jesus know, since its institution, that the holy Eucharist would be outraged, sacrileged by the people? Yes, he did. But despite all this, he wanted to remain in this most holy sacrament. Jesus is always there with his heart pierced out of love for us. The heart of Jesus is ready to forgive. In fact, his last word on the cross was, Father, forgive them because they don't know what they are doing. Finally, let us also call to mind the great promise of Jesus to Saint Mary Margaret, Margaret Mary Alacoque, the great promise to those who would go to Mass, receive communion, confession, make reparation for all sins against the Sacred Heart of Jesus on each first Friday for nine consecutive months. Jesus said that, I promise you, my dear Margaret, 
that in the excess of my mercy, my heart is ready to give to those people who will receive communion on the first Friday of the month for nine consecutive months, the grace to persevere until the end. They will not die in disgrace, but they will, will be able to receive the holy sacraments and they will find a secure refuge in my heart. And now we see our own heart. We can meditate uh, on our heart and we discover that most of the time our heart is an envious heart. Envy is like a worm inside ourselves, trying to devour everything, to destroy that little good that we are able to do. St. Vincent de Paul says that as water is able to extinguish fire, so envy is extinguishing charity in one's heart. The envy is something destroying a person from within, right into the heart. Envy is a sentiment that gives no peace to the man who is envious. Saint Cyprian, for example, says that envy is the very root of many other sins. Let us simply think of the first uh, murder in history. Think of Cain, who uh, murdered his brother Abel for one reason, out of envy. And uh, we see that this, unfortunately, this sin, the envy hiding in one's person heart is the very impediment to see in another person the love and the good that we should instead look for. St. John Chrysostom says that envy doesn't give any, uh, anything good, not even apparent. In it, there is only sorrow and shame and perversity. And the same saint, the same saint, father of the church, John Chrysostom, says that envy is a sin more than diabolic because the devils have this envy towards man, but they do not have envy among themselves. They respect themselves. They obey. They, they have this hierarchy among themselves. But men, instead, they are even worse than the devil and the devils when they envy someone. May the heart of Jesus purify our heart from this terrible poison envy and give us instead the virtue, the mercy of his divine heart, that benevolence able to see in another person, not an antagonist, not a person taking something from us, but a brother a sister to cooperate with for the kingdom of God, with the virtue of benevolence, which ultimately is love, charity. We can indeed edify on earth that kingdom of heaven we are looking for to join one day on earth with this love uniting ourselves, we become like angels, and we have always the heart of Jesus as the paradigm of our mercy and benevolence. Let us make an act of 
charity towards a person who has done evil to us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.